What's happening guys and welcome to another episode of Dominating Division 1. My name is Dirty Mike and if you're new to this series, then it's all about building different squads and jumping right into head-to-head -head ranked matches in FIFA Ultimate Team. So I'm still using an MLS hybrid and a 352, and it's kind of like a mini hybrid with the Colombians up top. And the first thing you're going to notice in this episode is at the beginning, I had, you know, I guess a brain fart and I just made a really dumb decision. I was thinking that it was like head-to-head -head ranked matches where you can quit out in the first five minutes. The connection really wasn't that good. And I was like, I don't want to play this ugly connection game. I thought there was a little bit of delay, a little bit of lag. It's not going to be a good look. So I quit out, and of course I forfeited that first game. But I only need one more win in order to win the division title. So it shouldn't be too much trouble to get that in this episode so we can take home some coins. Keep in mind that the majority of the coins that I win during dominating Division 1, I give right back to all you guys. In order to be eligible for the little giveaway, all you got to do is subscribe and comment and like any of the videos within the series. And boom, each time I build a new squad, you know, I do that giveaway and it's 10,000 coins. Really easy, you know, I'll send it your way. And speaking of, uh, I guess, giveaways, I'm going to be dropping another video, I guess, a little bit later on today after this one. And it's just a 1,000 subscriber giveaway, you know, it'll be another 25,000 coins, either on the PS3 or the Xbox 360 for FIFA Ultimate Team. And that's just me saying thank you and trying to give something back. Hopefully, as my channel grows, you know, I can, you know, change the prizes up a little bit and get something a little more unique. Wow, what a piece of shit goal by Alonzo. My opponent must be fuming at halftime. And to add insult to injury, he comes out and just bangs down the post. No luck for him. And that's when I knew this game was going to be over after he's missing chances like that. Wham, bam, thank you so much, uh, Brad Friedel, doing his thing. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the market. I know a lot of people have been talking about how the market's about to crash. It's going to go downhill. Players aren't going to have any value. And for the most part, they're going to significantly drop. But that shouldn't be anything new to anybody who plays FIFA Ultimate Team. Unless there's a price-fixing scandal, the highest players will ever sell for in the market in terms of at least gold players is right when FIFA 13 comes out. From then on, it always is, you know, they start to get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. And this is no different when the Team of the Week deal comes out. Of course, gold cards will once again get a little bit cheaper. But it doesn't matter. Buy silver, buy bronze, and put them up. They're still going to retain a lot of value, and you'll be able to make a good profit on that. So, we scored 23 goals and conceded 11 goals with this 352, you know, MLS team. And my man Falcao was a big contributor. He was an impact performer. Dude had 11 goals. And then my man Ferreira had another four, which is pretty solid. And Muriel was kind of an underachiever with three. I had Mr. Freddy Montero on the bench ready to swap with Ferreira in case he didn't put in that work. But I was wrong. Didn't need him. So remember, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike's on usa I'll have more content coming for you ASAP ASAP.